Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the 2016 AMO question 6 for you guys. So why not we just get into the question. But this question says that A, B, and C are positive integers such that A cubed plus B cubed equals to 2 to the power of C. And we want to prove that A is equal to B. So if you watch my previous video, then you know that if the right hand side is an even, then A and B must have the same parity. And that means that either A and B are both even or both odd. So we can split this into cases actually. So case one can just be A, B are both odd. In case two, you know it, A and B are both even. So in these type of questions, we usually want to factorize something. Well, in our case, can we? Yes, we can just factorize a cubed plus b cubed. And that would just equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. And this is just equal to 2 to the power of c. Now, if the right hand side is a power of 2, then we know that the left hand side, both of these needs to be a power of 2 as well, like 2 to the n and 2 to the n. Now, let's see. If a and b are both odd, then a plus b is even. But in this case, it's an odd, odd, and odd. But that, when added up, will be an odd. So how can an odd equal an even? Well, there is one case. So the only case where an odd will equal to 2 to the power of n is if n is equal to 0. And in that case, the right hand side will be 1. Now, if I just complete the square on the left hand side, then we'll notice it's just equal to a minus b squared plus ab is equal to 1. And now, since a and b are both positive integers, then these have to be non negative. So, this is actually not possible unless a is equal to b and is equal to 1. Because if a is equal to b, then this first bracket will just be 0. And that is very useful. So you prove that if a and b are odd, then a must equal to b. <coughs> okay. And now for case two is where A and B are both even. And now we can just let A to be 2n. So we let A to be 2n and B to be 2n. So now if we sub this back into the original equation, then it will become 8n cubed plus 8n cubed, this is equal to 2 to the power of c. Now, as long as c is big enough, we can divide both sides by 8. So this becomes n cubed plus n cubed, which is equal to 2 to the c minus 3, because 8 is 2 to the power of 3. And now I'm just going to let this equal to 2 to the power of d, where d is equal to c minus 3. And now look, we're back to the original equation. So don't we need to split this into cases as well? So the first case is when m and n are odd. And in this case, we know that m equals to n. In our second case is when m and n are even. Now, if we keep going like this, it won't do us any good. So I'm going to show you to the method of infinite descent. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, you should know what this is all about. So if I divide an even number many, many, many times by two, it can't always stay even. For example, take the number 16. 16 divided by two becomes eight, then four, then two, then one becomes odd number. So eventually, this case would transfer into the odd number case. So that still means that 
m be equal to n. So now we know that from here, m has to equal to n, and that means that a has to equal to b. This implies that a is equal to b. So in both cases, odd and even, we have proved that a has to equal to b. So for the entire thing, a has to equal to b. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.